Let's get into my next topic. First, talking about the Miami Heat. They've had a very interesting season so far at this point, as they've been one of the teams that's been hit hardest uh, from COVID. So many key players for them have been missing significant time. Jimmy Butler's missed quite a lot of time. Uh, There was a report that he lost like 11 pounds during the time he got COVID. So that uh, definitely sucks. But they're actually 13th in the Eastern Conference right now. And it's looking pretty scary for this roster so far. Now, obviously, you do have to contend. Uh, contextualize that they have been missing so many key guys they've been missing Jimmy Butler Uh, guys that are important rotation pieces for this roster have been in and out all year and that makes it super hard for this team to get a flow and get their chemistry going and that's what made them so great last year like obviously they have talent on that roster that's very clear but the thing that makes them so great is that the team just works so well together and they have such good chemistry but when you're getting even a couple new guys uh, but guys are in and out the entire year that makes super tough to just click as a roster and we've seen that i mean they're 27th in offensive point in uh, points per game scoring only 106 and they've never really been a great offensive team like even last year when they were so good they weren't great but they really hung their hat on the defensive side of the ball and with them missing key uh, pieces on that side they are 21st in opponents points per game so that's really hurting them as well like overall they haven't been that good of a team they're last in rebounding as other outside of bam they really don't have any guys who can rebound the ball that well they still are doing good as uh far as assist wise because they just move the ball so well but them not having their true number one guy in Jimmy Butler uh, obviously that's going to hurt because Jimmy Butler is a top 15 player in this league uh, absolutely but uh, I really didn't think it would hurt this much but when you're, you're relying on guys like Gabe Vincent to be a key rotation player for you Uh, That just scares me quite a lot, and even though they are going to start getting some of those guys back, it does worry me uh, about them just trying to click, because I don't know if they're going to be able to when all those guys are back, because then you have to adjust the roster so much, and even though the culture is obviously still great there, I think Eric Spolstra is an excellent coach. It does make things very, very difficult for them this season, as again, they've just been hit hit so hard and they've been one of the teams that has uh, had some of the most unfortunate circumstances so now they're being forced to play a lot of guys who would be rotation players for them but they're being forced to play them a lot more than they should be because they're missing Avery Bradley they're missing Jimmy Butler they've missed Goran Dragic, Mo Harkless, Andre Godala. these guys are all key rotation players and obviously Jimmy is a stud on this roster and they've been out with injury they've been out with covid so it it honestly just terrifies me that this team may be getting so far behind the eight ball that it's going to be hard for them to catch up because especially in the short and 72 game season it makes every game so much more crucial and makes uh the like amount of error that a team can have so much less especially when you have other teams rolling like certain teams who aren't even upper echelon teams have been playing well uh the charlotte hornets have been solid this year the toronto raptors are starting to turn things around and while they've still been disappointing as a whole they've looked better as of late the boston celtics have been great this year and both of their young wings have emerged the bucks have been very good this season the brooklyn nets have james harden kevin durant and kyrie Irving on their roster. The Indiana Pacers have been great this year. The Philadelphia 76ers look like one of, if not the best team in the Eastern Conference. The Cavs have been surprising. The Knicks have been surprising. The Orlando Magic, even though they've had so many injuries, continue to just be a solid team because Nikola Vucevic is so good. The Hawks are decent this year. Like, there's a lot of teams playing some pretty solid basketball. And when you're the 13th seed, only a game and a half above the Detroit Pistons, like, it definitely scares me that they may just begin too far behind so early on in the season that it's going to be a tough hole for them to dig out of. And I'm not saying they're going to miss the playoffs or anything like that because uh, to say that at this point in the season when they're missing so many key rotation players would just be absolutely blasphemous. Like, that'd be ridiculous, uh, especially with the, with Bam playing the way he is, with Tyler Hero being very good. But Tyler Hero is another guy who's missed time as well. Like, they've just been 
uh, given some super unfortunate unfortunate circumstances. And even though it, it does make you feel bad for them because it's out of their control, that also is just a part of the NBA, and especially this season. So many teams are going to be screwed by the fact that uh, the COVID protocols and then injuries in a shortened off season are probably going to be up more. Like it's it's just a part of this season, and as unfortunate as it is, it's how they're going to have to handle this season. They're going to have to deal with players missing time, and they're going to have to have a guy step up. And that's been the thing that's been so great about the Miami Heat is like the next man up mentality. It's very similar to the Toronto Raptors, the old Spurs teams, where they'd always just have guys step up. But now with them missing so many guys, they're having guys who just simply aren't that good. They have to have those guys step up and it's just not working out for them. And especially with them having so many non-defenders right now because they're missing so many of their best defenders. Avery Bradley, great defender. Jimmy, Mo Harkless, Andre Godala. That's what's hurt them so much is on the defense side of the ball because you have guys like Kendrick Nunn, Tyler Hero, uh, Kelly Olynyk, Duncan Robinson, Gabe Vincent. Uh, Max Struss, like all these guys aren't really good defenders and they're all playing big minutes for them. And then the rebounding outside of Bam, the rebounding on this roster just kind of sucks. Like as much as Preston Satua is an awesome energy guy off the bench, he's still a rookie at the end of the day. He's still going to need time to develop uh, before he really plays key minutes in this league. So there's definitely some internal issues with this roster. And even though I think they'll be much better uh, when guys come back from injury and come back from COVID, I still am a little bit worried about this roster. Uh, I cannot sugarcoat that at all because this team has been pretty disappointing so far, even in the short, the very short amount of time where they did have most of their guys, they still were disappointing. They still didn't look great. And I was the guy who was just saying like, this team isn't really a regular season team. We saw that last year. They weren't even great in the regular season, but they, they have to be a regular season team this year uh, with the shortened schedule and with all the weird circumstances. Uh, and just, this is a complete aside, but so many people like said there was an asterisk on last year, which I always think the asterisk, uh, opinion is always stupid like uh whoever wins most of the time 99 percent of the time they 100 percent deserve it they worked hard every single day and even if there were some unlucky circumstances for other teams like injuries i never like to put an asterisk on the season but this may be a season that an asterisk is put on uh much more than last season like so many people were saying that for last season with the bubble but honestly i think it's much more valid this year for there to be an asterisk just due to all the weird circumstances like what's going on with the Miami Heat with them missing so many key guys and that's going to cause them and other rosters to be disappointing like the Miami Heat have been so far again I'm not saying they're not going to be a playoff team or anything I'm just worried about this roster and I'm worried that they're going to be falling behind way too uh, much in this super weird uh, season where so many guys are going to be missing games and then the shortened season Um, I'm a little bit worried about the Miami Heat not going to lie